Hi, I'm Kim Ho. In this series, we'll be talking to people who have interesting, inspiring, or intriguing stories to tell. This week, we meet Dr. Ramaswamy Akhileswaran, who started out as a radiation oncologist but went on to become one of Singapore's top palliative care experts. Describing his mission as adding life to days, his passion for helping the terminally ill live out their days with dignity has helped to change the palliative care landscape not just in Singapore, but in neighbouring countries like Indonesia and Myanmar. A long-time volunteer with the Singapore International Foundation, he has helped to train scores of medical workers and launched several palliative care initiatives which have benefited thousands of terminally ill patients. He says, We're all here for a purpose. If I can do something to help somebody and make their life a little better than what it is, then I have done my job. This is his story. So the aim has always been to add uh, life to days and not days to life. That's what palliative care is all about, you know. So it's all about how we bring life into uh, a patient's uh, final days. The first time that I heard about palliative care uh, was uh, from this nurse from Oxford. That showed me how to connect with patients. And this was something I never thought of at that level. When you interact with patients, take off your stethoscope, take off your white coat, interact with them at a level where you think you're absolutely naked in front of them. So the, the reason uh, why I specialized in palliative care, in spite of being a specialist in radiation oncology was, I found uh, palliative care really connects me with the patients. It's a one-on-one -on -one that I, I feel the connection much stronger, uh, which I was not able to experience in radiation oncology. Radiation oncology is dealing with machines most of the time. I'm not dealing with patients uh, many a time. So sometimes I forget the person behind the patient. Everyone is busy, all of us are busy, but we always are looking for something which gives us joy. And this joy is something we would not experience all the time. And as a volunteer, I'm able to experience that joy. So as a volunteer, my focus has been to train the trainers. So what I mean by that is I go and train doctors and nurses and help them to understand what palliative care is and to do palliative care as we do it back here in Singapore. And we train uh, the doctors for th between three to five days, doctors and nurses, the whole team that comes there. So sometimes it could be as large as 80 people at one time. We do the kind of a classroom training for them. And then we also go to their wards if we get the permission to do so and see the patients that they are looking after who probably would benefit from palliative care. I won't be a human being if I don't feel sad at some death, you know. But if I have heard or have seen that this person passed away peacefully, huh, comfortably, uh, that gives me solace that uh, I was able to make uh, a difference in this person's life. And also the, the effect that that will have on his family. Sometimes the borders do, do become grey, but it's okay, it's natural. And so even if I feel like uh, crying, I, I wouldn't... Uh, stop my tears from flowing, yeah. If it comes out, it comes out, yeah. <laughs> I don't know who I am. <laughs> so this is, this is a question which has troubled me a lot, you know. Who am, who am I, you know? Uh, it's, it's difficult to say who I am. I know probably there is a reason why I was put on this earth. Uh, and if that reason is to help others, I feel uh, very happy doing that. The one thought that I wake up to every day, I wake up saying that this is a new day and let me see how best I can help others during this day. I'm too tired so when I go to sleep I don't think I have any thoughts. <laughs>